Please welcome Anu Acharya, the CEO of Map My Genome India from, uh, from Hyderabad, India. Good evening. The most fundamental question that we all ask is who am I? And that has intrigued everybody from philosophers to scientists. While genetics has helped to understand a lot of who we are, I think there is still a lot of questions that we need to answer. And there is one question that bothers me a lot, and that is the question of genomic inequality in this world. So when we look at the problem in India today, India spends about 4% on healthcare compared to an average of 9.9%. Out of that, 62.4% is an out-of-pocket expenditure, which implies there's a lot of a burden on a common person as the cost of diseases increases when you catch it in the late stages. So if you think about it, if you keep looking at it from prevent, uh, keeping on increasing spend, it doesn't make any sense, it is not sustainable. So we can help bridge the gap with genomics. And if you look at it, 20% of the world's population is Indian, but the amount of data that's available for Indians is only a paltry 0.2%. This has grave consequences because it implies that more than 20% of the world's population will not benefit from, that, from the benefits of personalized medicine. I find that very disturbing. So we decided to address this problem by creating a simple swab-based genetic test. This is a predictive and preventive test, and it correlates genomic data with family history and lifestyle. And it gives rec actionable recommendations that consumers can take back to their physicians for medical advice. As a result, we find that consumers make better choices about their health, and physicians have better access to the medical history of their patients. We use genetic counseling as a key differentiator because we need, we need to know that consumers have to understand what this genetic data is and what they can do to prevent disease. We use an AI-based algorithm called Snappy to help create the risk scores for these diseases. And as we continue to do that, we create this big data that will add to the medical knowledge and drug development. So you may ask, why map my genome? It's because we've been doing this for many years. We have a highly experienced team for about 16 years. In my previous startup avatar, we built the world's largest genomic services company, which spanned in three continents and had over 300 employees. We also address a very large gap that is there in healthcare today. And we plan to go to 100,000 samples in the next three years. We have investment by renowned investors like Mr. Ratan Tata. And we hope to start with first with the Indian population and then expand globally. Because it is when the data and insights for each population is clearly understood that we'll come to personalized medicine for all truly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's come on down here and hear what the judges have to think. Personalized medicine seems like this can be a pretty big leap. I'm going to start this time with Teresa. Hi, thank you very much. Um, very impressive background in a very related area. Question for you is, what is the cost, um, both your cost and then the cost to the end user, since in India you said most of the costs are borne by the consumer for this test? So we started about uh, $199. We do have smaller tests that we do for specifically for diabetes and others, which are $30, $40. So we're trying to get the cost down. We also, are, we also have an $1,800 test, so we have multiple tests. But this one, the one I'm talking about, is at $199 is the starting price and $400. That includes genetic counseling. It also includes the recommendations and the risk that, uh, what you can do in, included in that. So it includes all of these above. And so how does it compare in terms of, because I think the cost is actually more, but also in terms of the specificity or the recommendations compared to, say, in the United States, 23 and Me, I think, is down to $99. Well, I think there is a difference. I think we are offering genetic counseling and we putting a lot of this data together, right? So it's looking at about 100 different diseases. Our focus in pri is primarily on health. And we are giving them recommendations that they can actually tear back and give back to their physicians. I have a copy of reports for all of you if you would like to see that. She came prepared. <laughs> Teresa, do you have a score for us? And so just, is this the same thing? It's a spit test and then it gets it is, sent it off? Is a, it is a spit can test. Can we see it? Absolutely. So Here, it's a swab-based test. So it's a little swab. 
that you can uh, that you can do. Um, we're trying to get the cost down so that as at the end, I think one of the things we want to do is to bring down the cost for the consumer. Uh, we've also uh, made sure that a lot of uh, employers and others have access to this. And we've created a lot of schemes for them to be able to access this from a finance point of view. So that is not a big problem for consumers. Teresa, what do you think? So I think she's a terrific background. It's an important problem in an area that seems to be underserved and obviously fast growing. I am worried about the cost, though, um, given the current um, capability of the middle class. So I would give it an eight. Thank okay. you. And Paula, I mean Kate. A ten. Um, uh, actually, no. I, I've got. I, I. I. I'm. I think Teresa and I are going to, you know, feel very similar about this. You know, I actually just did my twenty three and me, and I, I. I. even inside of you know genetic testing and doing that. I. There's. There's more that I'd like to see happen with it. Uh, so if I was going to pay two hundred dollars uh, based on what you know I think in India is is a an average salary, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money. Um, no, I think the costs are coming down, and yeah. we are trying to raise a round of funding for that. So at this point, it is it is one ninety nine, but we do plan to bring it down. So five thousand is what we think would be the actual price okay. eventually. But I'm just telling you what it is currently. Your score. Uh, I'll say eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, Nick? Uh, so I know very little about this um, area of uh, medicine and, 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 and business and investment, but is in a, at a high level, is this a 23andMe-esque service that is marketed to Indians specifically, and so your opportunity is to build, have a first mover advantage there? So it's... Alibaba in China versus Amazon coming into China later and, and failing. So is that your no, is that a competitive no, advantage? No, I think I think there's a big difference. And I think the difference is that while we are trying to also build India specific markers and, and in information, we also have a clinical part to our side, right? So we do offer diagnostic tests as well. So we have whole genome sequencing and whole exome sequencing. There, there's differentiation, but but yeah. at a at a high level. At a high level, your opportunity, because I don't know how Correct. global 23andMe and others are. I don't know how much comp competition there is. Do you have much competition in the Indian marketplace right now? Uh, there are a few companies that are come out now, but okay. we were the first move. We were, uh, we've been are doing you the, this for Are you the years. earliest in the, yes, absolutely. you have the most scale? Yes. Last question. Out of time. Last question. Nick? By what factor do you have the most scale? I think we are at least five times better than what the others are. So. Okay. And so your score is? I think because there's a lot of competition, um, and I don't understand that much about the space, I think it's exciting, but I'm going to give it a seven because okay. of the competitive factors. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give you but that's back. not very informed. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.